All right, let's talk about the net present value. Imagine a typical investment where you invest some amount initially and then you keep getting money from that investment in the future periods. So let's say you invest $200 right now. We're calling this year zero. Now that will be operating in the world of cash flows. This $200 is negative because it is a cash outflow. That is money is going out of your pocket. Now let's say you get returns from your investment in the upcoming years. You get returns in year one, you get returns in year two, and in year three. Let's say in year one you get a 50, you get $50, in year two you get $70, and in year three you get $100. Notice all of these cash flows are positive because you're getting this money, right? That's, that's a cash inflow. Now the question we will be targeting in this video is whether or not you should invest in this budget. Well, you can be like, hey, let me just add all of these values up and let me subtract it by the cash, by the cost of investment. And if I'm getting a profit, I will go forward and invest in this project. But <laughs> it is not that simple. Remember, we discussed the concept of present values in the last video. So the amount that you're getting in year one, in year two, or any time in the future is going to be less valuable to you which we found out in the last video, since you can always invest that money in some other project, maybe just deposit that money in a bank or something, which will guarantee you a certain rate of interest. So the way we um, account for this opportunity cost of investment is by figuring out the present values of all of these future cash flows. After which we can just add it all up and subtract it from the cost of investment and finally decide if you should go ahead and invest in this project. That is the idea behind the net present value or NPV for short. Sure. Present value indicating that you're supposed to figure out the present values of all of the future cash flows and then you net all the cash flows out and that will give you a fair answer on whether or not you should go ahead and invest in this project. So let's get back to our case over here. Hey, let me first write down the formula for finding out the present value for each cash flow, which we discussed in the last video. It is PV equal to CT divided by one plus R raised to the power T. Just to recap, CT stands for cash flow in period T. R is the discount rate and um, T is the number of periods you need to discount it by. Let's assume the discount rate to be 10%, that is R is equal to 10%. Now for year zero, $200 is the present value itself as you're investing it in the present. You don't have to make any changes to it. So we'll just write minus 200 as a first cash flow. For year one, you take the cash flow 50 and you divide it by one plus R raised to the power number of periods. Here it is year one, so number of periods is just one. So it's going to be 50 divided by one plus, again, R is 10%, so that will be 0.1 raised to the power one. Now coming to year two, you get 70 divided by one plus 0.1 raised to the power two, because we are talking about two periods. Similarly for year three, you'll raise it to the power three. So for year three, we have 100 divided by 1 plus 0.1 raised to the power 3. And let me separate all of this. And you add all of it up. And I've already done the calculation for you. It comes out to be minus $19.31. So it's negative implies that you're losing money in on this investment. The general rule that we take is if your NPV or net present value is greater than zero, then we accept the project and if it is equal to zero or less than zero uh, you reject it it doesn't make sense for you to take on an investment that is not going to get you any money in the future at all ah, in summary to figure out the net present value you first need to find the present value of all the future cash flows and then you need to add them all up along with the cost of investment and if the value is greater than zero you accept the project hope you got around that i'll see you in the next one